Hey just in time, something I've really been wondering is how often is the minimum time that you can change isolation movements. So what I interpret from this question is you're asking, how much time do you need to dedicate to specific movement to see progress? Now this might go against traditional bodybuilding style of training, but speaking honest, if we're doing an isolation movement like a machine or some sort of cable movement and it's busy at a particular time and the gym is full, I don't recommend waiting for that machine as it'll cost you your rhythm of training with the pump and warmth and rather move on to an accessory that's like that machine. And even if it's not the exact movement, at the end of the day, it's more important to keep your rhythm in training rather than having to have your exercise days exactly the same, like following a step or set procedure in a science experiment. And to answer your question, you don't have to give your whole workout plan a facelift every three weeks, and there's no point of fixing something that's not broken. So it's totally up to you. If you find a better substitute, stick to that new substitute and cater your list of accessories to what helps your body build muscle.